Today we're going to look at the Megalodon shark tooth. Now this tooth here uh, was found in South Carolina in some mud and it's probably around three million years old. The Megalodon sharks were massive sharks, uh, probably about two or three times the size of the great white shark. They grew in size up to about 20 meters and averaged about 15 meters or maybe 45 feet in length. Um, which is you know, over double the size of the current great white shark. The megalodon sharks had evolved to eat or eat whales. Um, whales had evolved about 40 million years ago, and then within probably about 12 million years, these large sharks evolved to eat the whales. Uh, when the megalodons caught the whales, um, they wouldn't necessarily go from beneath the whales, which um, a great white shark would, would do if it was attacking something. Um, often the megalodon sharks would uh, hit the prey at speed, but they would also try and um, crush the chest cavity of their prey and bite into the uh, chest cavity and uh, sort of kill them by uh, affecting their lungs. Now, um, what happened with the megalodon uh, sharks um, they became extinct about 2.6 million years ago and it's believed this happened because around that time there used to be um, a Central American seaway where water would flow from the Pacific through uh, between North and South America into the Atlantic but about 2.6 million years ago that Central American seaway actually closed off when volcanic activity and tectonic plate movements formed the Panama Isthmus. Um, so when the sea currents changed, the sea became uh, colder and the megalodon sharks um, preferred much warmer temperatures in the sea. So uh, when the um, sea did become colder um, after the Panama Isthmus formed, the um, first of all, the prey that the megalodon sharks went for became extinct and then the megalodon shark itself became extinct. Um, so today we'll look at a few video clips uh, of these megalodon shark's teeth and uh, sort of talk a bit about the megalodon shark. <laughs> 